What's going on, Pixel Hackers? Christian Lovers, it's from Pixel Feed here. In this video, we're going to talk about minimum budgets for Facebook ads in 2022, the ultimate guide. But before we get started, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's dive right in. All right, so I get asked all the time by individuals who are starting out and what, for, by brands that are already established, it's like, how much should I spend on Facebook ads to get results? And the answer is, it depends. It depends what your marketing budget is. It depends if you have a proven product or not. Is it established brand? Do you have a website that already gets organic sales and you have tons of traffic going through it? Do you just build your website and you never even tried to run an ad before? How do you know your, your website is uh, optimized for conversions? These, these, are all th these are all things that are gonna make or break your ads when you run them on Facebook. So this is what you gotta figure out how, what angle you're going to use for your ads based on what's going on on the business side of things. So if it's a new website, a brand new account, you have to test many different angles with your copy and your creative and along with audiences. It's a brand new account that has no data. So it's going to be harder for that account to get results, right? That's number one. If you're an established brand that has already tons of traffic, obviously, we're gonna go for the lowest hanging fruit right away, which is retargeting all that traffic that you're getting from your organic content or which is your influencers or your SEO or whatever, right? People who, have already, who already know your brand. So when you're running ads, your cost per conversion is gonna be a lot, a lot cheaper. So there's a few questions that you gotta ask yourself. Uh, do, you, do you care more about growing, growing profitability? Uh, are you okay with breaking even uh, when starting out? Are you trying to see if your product is proven or not? Is it gonna work or not? What metrics are we gonna pay attention at in order to figure this out? So here's how I will do it and here is what I will do. So if it was a brand new account, okay, the first thing that I need to find out is if my product works, all right? So I'm gonna create one ABO campaign, ad set budget optimization, and I'm gonna use, uh, let's say four audiences maybe. So I'm gonna do inform informational websites. I'm gonna do my competitors. I'm going to do celebrities. And I'm going to do books magazines guess what if people are reading books and magazines about your, your niche they're really hardcore into it and they're gonna buy from you and then actually let's do one more I will do five and then wide open broad because you know what the Facebook algorithm has gotten really really good at finding those people so when you launch okay we're gonna determine our budget and I can tell you right now you want to do at least you know if you're doing these many ad sets uh, you know, it's up to you how much you wanna, you wanna spend, but this is what I personally recommend. You don't wanna do anything less than $20 per ad set. I mean, you gotta give it a fighting chance, guys. You know, and also depends on the price of your product, but you gotta do the math. So how many days on average are in a month? 30 to 31, so let's say 31. So $20 times 31, that's, hold on, yeah. $20 times 31, that's 620 times one, two, three, four, five. That's $3,100. That means that just for the top of the funnel, you're gonna need $3,100. So you better have that money set aside. And then you gotta set your middle of the funnel and your retargeting. So let's say you're starting out, it's a brand new store. You, you don't wanna do anything less than $10. So add another 20 bucks to that times 31. That's 620 plus 3,100. So now we're up to 3,700, okay? That's for your first month. So what am I gonna do when I launch these ad sets? And listen, if you have less money than that, then just pick one and start with that. But just think about it this way. The more money that I spend, the more data that I get back, which equals quicker decisions if I'm gonna be successful or not. 
So if you're not getting sales right away and you're trying to figure out if your product, if people are interested in your product, you gotta look, are people clicking over to your website? Are they engaging with your post? Are they landing on your website? Okay, if you see the intent on those metrics, people leaving Facebook or Instagram, leaving the platform, platform and going to your website, that means they're interested in the product and if they're not converting, it could be your website or it could be the price of your product or the shipping costs and stuff like that. That's a whole other video for campaign, uh, up, you know, CBR, uh, what do you call it? Conversion rate optimization for your store. So these are the things you gotta keep in mind. How much are you willing to spend to figure, figure out if people are interested in your product? Once you figure that out, if you start getting a sale here and there, that means that people like your product and you just gotta work on your store and make things a lot better. So this is what I recommend if you're a brand new store, brand new product, brand new everything, okay? Now, let's go with a different approach. You're already established brand. You already have absolutely tons of traffic. Well, brands that are already established, they already have you know, a marketing budget to go off. And it's easier to get results for because they have a, the, the audience already knows who they are because we're gonna start with a retargeting campaign. Retargeting campaign. And depending on the budget, when you're an established brand or not, I mean, I want you to spend at least 10 grand. You know, if you're an established brand and you're making tons of sales, 10 grand, it's not, it's nothing to you because 10 grand divided by 31, that's $322 average. So with $322, that's gonna give me enough ammunition to go for the middle of the funnel, which is gonna be Facebook engagers, Instagram engagers, uh, website visitors, and ATCs, right? That's one ad set right there, let's say $100 a day, right? Then I'm gonna have um, a DPA retargeting, $100 a day as well. Actually, yeah, $100 a day, right? And that's gonna be my view contents and ATCs, right? And then the extra $100, I can do a small top of the funnel campaign based on my best selling product or collection. And I can scale from there. It makes it much easier because when you have data and you already have a proven product and you have all that information, all you have to do is just go on Google Analytics or reports or a store and say, okay, which was my best selling product? It's this one. Okay, let's retarget everybody to come back and start buying from me to generate some revenue. And let me launch a small campaign for a hundred bucks with a winning product or the winning collection and we'll scale from there. And then you scale from there. Now back, see how much easier it is when you're already established and you're already getting sales? Absolutely, it's easier. But the other thing you gotta ask yourself when you're starting out, right? to set your metrics and see how much you're willing to spend, you know, to go all the way, let's say you wanna set your budget at 3,700, right? Well, if I'm gonna spend 3,700, what are my expectations back? Well, there's a couple ways to look at it. Do you want to uh, make profit at the top? Do you absolutely have to make profit, uh, profit at the top, right? I'm, I'm assuming you wanna make profit at the top, but if you don't, if you don't make profit at the top, how much are you willing to spend to spend based on the LTV of your client? Because that's another thing we gotta find out. All right. So for example, one of the newest the newest brand uh, brand that I just launched, I came to find out that sixty three percent of our customers come back and spend an average of three hundred dollars with us. So guess what? If their LTV is three hundred dollars right? I'm willing to spend, I mean, up, I mean, I can spend 200 if I wanted to up front to acquire that customer, because guess what? In the long run, I'm still going to make a hundred dollars profit on that customer, right? So people get caught up in the whole AOV thing side of things. So let's say your AOV is, you know, is 40, just to throw a number out there, 40. And you spend, I don't know, $80, yeah, you lost money at the top, 
But guess what? If based on the numbers that I'm seeing or you start seeing, those people are going to come back and keep buying from you, right? So the lifetime value for that client might be $300. And this is where you got to calculate the number of people that return to your store and buy as you go. So when you're starting out, you got to do it for at least three months. Even if you're an established brand, you got you to run ads for at least three months. You got to get that data back. You got to figure out so you can start seeing what's going on in the whole ecosystem. And once you start seeing that, then you can play with your budgets and you can change your numbers all the way around, right? But I would recommend to at least start with a budget of 3,700 if you're a newbie. And you know, if you're an established brand, stand, you know, $10,000. If you're an established brand, $10,000 is nothing to you, right? Start retargeting, get a hold of those people, low hanging fruit, and then grab your best seller, your best collection, top of the funnel, scale from there. And that's how you do it, guys. It's a matter of numbers and seeing if the metrics work or not. The days of like drop shipping and $5 a day in one campaign and becoming like a millionaire, that, that's, that's way over. That's, that's not the name of the game anymore because now the auction is much more expensive. There's more competitors and less inventory when it comes to Facebook ads. So I hope that makes sense. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you want to keep learning about Facebook ads and digital marketing, make sure to watch one of the videos right above me. And I will see you guys in the next video.